We're all having a fantastic Friday. Um, just come back in from a viewing. It's uh, sunny, but uh, a wee bit cold out in, in Cornwall today. Um, just come back from a viewing of property that came on the market about um, two hours ago and uh, managed to get in the uh, in the front door before anybody else, which is always good. Um, just do a quick chat before the weekend about uh, Monday. Um, as probably many of you are aware there, uh, the House of Commons are debating the uh, extension for the stamp duty deadline uh, on Monday um, in terms of whether they, they should extend it or finish it as planned at the end of March. Um, most people that I'm talking to are generally thinking extending is a good thing uh, because save money, save money. Um, but in actual fact, the figures show that the effect of the stamp duty deadline has increased prices by more than people are saving with the, the stamp duty deadline, if that makes any sense. Um, we, we've definitely seen, certainly here in Cornwall, um, a massive increase in uh, demand, and that's had a knock-on effect on prices um, since last summer when the uh, when the uh, deadline was announced in July. Um, and as I say, the figures are backing up the fact that they've actually gone up more than you're saving. So if you're you know thinking, oh, great, I'm going to save 10 grand uh, by not paying the stamp duty, in reality, um, the price of the property has probably gone up more than the, the 10 grand. As an example, I went to have a look at a house this week, which has gone up since it was last sold 10 months ago, 100,000. Um, yeah, significant increase and, and in my mind, artificial in terms of what the market would have done had we not had the stamp duty holiday come in. We would have seen a much more gentle um, price increase than, than we've seen. So it's artificially boosted the prices up. Um, if it's extended, they're talking about possibly till the end of September, that will again cause the, cause the same effect. So prices will go up more between the end of March when it's due to finish and the end of September, if that's extended to then, then you'll actually save. Um, it has to finish at some point. Finishing at the end of March will cause, uh, people are talking about it causing a, a cliff edge situation um, where possibly a lot of sales will fall through and, and, and the market will, will fall off the edge of a cliff. Um, I don't think that will actually happen. I think the demand through the uh, spring and early summer will be um, steady, but, but still considerable. Um, and we'll see a more gradual moving of prices rather than the, uh, again, the artificial increase that I think we'll see if it is extended. So I get people are saying, oh, we will we, we save money on our house purchase. But in reality, um, that's a false economy. Those prices are likely to increase by uh, by more. So we'll see what the government decides to do on, on Monday. Um, possibly they will just extend it for those properties which are already sale agreed or even exchange contracts. Um, which will which will make sense in terms of people actually completing after the 31st of March. Um, because as we proceed between now and the end of March, the conveyancing process is absolutely log jammed. Solicitors are, are you know pulling their hair out, trying to get all the completions through. Um, because if you are in the middle of a purchase, then yes, 10, 15,000 pounds um, is a significant saving, uh, which really makes sense. But for any new purchases, if it's extended, so you really won't feel the benefit because in actual fact, house prices will go up more. Um, then you would save. So that's just my musings. We'll see what happens on uh, Monday. Um, I've got a busy weekend of uh, property viewings. So uh, hopefully you uh, stay safe. We've made it through another week of lockdown. We're another week hopefully closer to coming out of the other side of it all and getting back to something like normality. Um, and everybody can uh, you know, get themselves back down to Cornwall. Speak to you all soon. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.